Um, so I'm Emmy and I study fashion and dress history at the University of Brighton. So my final year project, I looked at hand-knitted bathing suits in the 1930s and I was exploring how they were made and how they were worn by um, young wage earners for their leisure at the beach. <laughs> Um, I've loved it, like I can't imagine studying anywhere else to be honest. Um, the course has been amazing, like the resources that you have, the lecturers are so supportive of your work and your research. From the beginning of the course it was very apparent that um, you should sort of take on a volunteering role or something outside of the course to really sort of elevate your skills and put into practice what you're learning. So I went to Active Student and I, I was given a volunteering role with Glad Rags, which is a costume store. And we did some really incredible projects with Charleston Farmhouse, um, with costume and creating costumes from archive pieces. And then, um, more recently, I was given a fellowship for the Associ Association of Dress Historians, um, which is something that um, most of the fashion and dress history students, every year there's at least sort of one or two students that get given these sort of ambassador roles for dress history societies. And I think it definitely shows that the course is one that those societies look to for students to do those roles. Um, so within that I've been managing the social media and promoting dress history and sort of getting to know a whole range of different people and helping at conferences and sort of getting my own research out there as well with the um, blog that they have. Um, I'm going to be doing the MA in September, so the, the History of Art and no History of Design and Material Culture, uh, which I'm very excited about. Um, and I'm going to be continuing my path with um, the interwar period and sort of leisure wear and what young women were at the beach. <laughs>